Hey guys, Caroline with Remind here. Today we're going to be going over how to export a CSV from Cards. Let's get started. So to go ahead and get started, to export your CSV, we're going to have to move into the cart section on the left hand side of our page by clicking here. Once we've entered carts, we have to select which cart we're looking to export from. We have the option of exporting from all carts and selecting from all of the properties we've historically carted, or to go ahead and select one of our custom carts that we've created. That's what we'll be going through today. Once I've opened my custom cart, I'll need to select the properties I want included or excluded. The first way we can go ahead and include all of the properties within our cart is by selecting this white box at the top of all the column headers. You'll see it'll select all of the boxes below it, signifying that we've selected all of the properties. Our second option is to select individual properties if we don't want to include all of the properties within this cart. I can do that by selecting the white box next to the property name. Today we're going to include all for our export. Once I've selected my properties, I click the export button. Here, I have to complete two steps before I can export. The first, I'll just need to name my file. The second, I'll have to identify what columns I want included in this export. I have two options here. The first, I can choose to include all of the columns available to me. That's over 100 columns or points of data on each property. I just do that by turning on this little toggle or I hand pick the columns I want included in my export. Here I go to select columns and click on the caret to show the drop down menu. I can select what columns I want included by clicking on the name and you'll see it will appear in this search bar and it will be removed from the drop down menu. I can continue to select which ones I want or I can type in the name to go ahead and identify which column I want included. Once I'm ready, I can go ahead and click export, or I can go ahead and choose to save these as my default export settings. What that means is the next time I go in to export a CSV, I will have these columns saved for me so I don't have to go through and select them again. Once you click export, you will receive a success notification in the upper right hand corner of your page. You'll also receive an alert at the bottom left hand side of your page letting you know when the export is ready. When you click on your alerts, you'll see which download is ready. Click download and you'll be able to pull your CSV from the bottom of your browser. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to joining you again. Bye now.